All right, here inside of One Kick Nick's gym uh, with Tana McCrory. Uh, first of all, Tana, I know you're a New York guy. What brings you to Vegas? Um, well, one of my uh, difficulties in my last camp was I didn't really have as many uh, sparring partners as I wanted to, and that kind of showed in my performance. So, um, you know, my trainers at home, they all, all uh, blessed me to come out here. Uh, my manager, Jimmy Benz, he's been out here for a couple of years, been begging me to come out. And uh, he's got a good network here and set me up with some great guys like uh, Dewey and uh, Dennis Davies over at Extreme, Mike Atkinson over at Athletic Gains, and I got like the trifecta right now of guys here uh, helping me get ready for this fight. All right, we got to see you work a little bit today with uh, Dewey Cooper. Very intense guy. I don't know about your other trainers, but not many people are going to be as intense as him at least. What's been like working with him so far? Uh, well, he's, he's great because he, he, he'll break me down on some fundamental things. And then, you know, when we get into the nitty gritty, I mean, he pushes me like super hard. And, uh, you know, I'm not really worried about my conditioning for this fight. I might have looked a little a little bad today because had a good good sparring session last night, kind of took it out of me. But uh, you know, uh, he's he's a great coach, and I've got a lot to learn from him. And we have a good synergy, I think. So uh, it's it's shaping up to be a good team. What other difference kind of sparring besides that? What difference is there being out in Las Vegas as opposed to back in New York? Well, being out here, you know, I took a sacrifice. I got a wife and two kids back home. But I came out here because I knew that it was going to take me to the next level. And uh, help me to continue going up the ladder and really the the lifestyle out here is good because I don't have the you know I don't have as many distractions or obligations and the times that people train here you know like at home I have to work around my other jobs and stuff and being kids and whatnot but here it's basically like nine to five fighter and then I go home get to rest get to eat wake up 740 every morning get the breakfast in back at, back on the clock at excuse me 9 a.m. So, you know, just like this, the, the, the schedule is great, or it's been working for me uh, phenomenally here. Knowing the sacrifice you're making, leaving your wife and kids back home, uh, does that motivate you even more, knowing that you're coming out here doing this for them, or? I mean, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know if it's like an added, uh, added thing or not. Like, obviously I know what this is doing, you know, I know, understand the sacrifice that I'm making, but, uh, you know, at the, on the other side is that if I didn't take this risk, it would have been more of a sacrifice because, you know, you can't just continue doing the same things over and over and expecting different results. You know, I have a great team, great coaches back home, but as far as having the partners that I need to help push me to the next level, you know, this is the fight capital. There's not a, a lack of guys that are on my level or trying to be on my level to push me to be my best. So I have a great group of guys over at Extreme Couture that are pushing me and, and, and and the results are going to show on fight night. You mentioned your last fight, and the kind of performance you wanted to have. Uh, fortunately for you, you've had a lot more wins and losses in your career. But is there a difference going into a camp when you're coming off with a loss as opposed to a win, or do you approach your fight? You know, this, well, I Especially with the UFC, you know, where every loss can be, you know, you, you have to be worried about your future. Right, there's two, there's two things about the MMA game. There's like, there's the, the blessing and a curse, right? So the, the blessing is, is that, Anything can happen, so you, one punch and you, you're done. But the converse to that is anything can happen, is one punch and you can be done, you know, one slip and it can be you as well. Likewise, when you're coming off of, you know, when you're in the UFC and you lose, you never know if you're gonna get your pink slip. But at the same time, one good performance erases your loss, you know what I'm saying? So like, there are so many guys that are in the UFC that, you know, if they were boxers, they'd have horrible records, but, because you know MMA is an exciting, dynamic sport, you have guys that can rebound off their losses a lot quicker, you know, and keep their stock going. So, you know, I'm looking at this opportunity. I'm fighting a veteran. I know it's going to be a tough fight, but I know that a good performance is going to erase any of the sour tastes of that last one. Let's talk about Nate Park for a second. The guy you're facing, uh, very tough guy. Guy's been around for a long time. Been very near the top. Uh, what are you expecting for him? And, and like I told you early off camera, so it's, it's a little strange for guys like that because you never know what they have left. They've been so good for so long, but at some time, you know, you reach the end. So what, what kind of performance are you expecting out of him? Well, I, you know, I can't take anything away from him because I'm going to be like the 60th fight or something that he's had. And he's got a wealth of experience and he's a powerful guy. So he's got a lot of things that are going for him. I think I have, you know, speed, agility, all the, all the youthful traits, 
Um, but I know he's a dangerous fighter. You know, I'm not looking past him by any means. And uh, but the other side of that is a solid win over him is gonna you know do a lot for my career as far as boosting my 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 stock, I guess you could say. So I think you know he's got a, he's got a good ground game. I got a good ground game. He's got a good stand up. I got a good stand up. I think that you know it's gonna be uh, a standing fight, but I'm more than prepared to go to the ground. I mean, guys that have seen me fight on the ground know that um, it's a ticking time bomb. I'm gonna catch you sooner or later. So. Uh, you know, it's going to be exciting. I mean, I have my game plan, but uh, it's going to be come down to who who implements theirs best. Besides the victory, obviously, what is it that you want to see out of yourself when you go back and look at the tape the next day? You know, I just want to I, I want to be relaxed, mobile, you know, uh, comfortable. You know, my last fight, uh, I came out flat, you know, and I, I paid the price for it. Uh, there are a lot of a lot of things leading up to that, you know, but I can't, at the end of the day, when the cage door locks, you're paid to perform. It doesn't matter how hard or how hard you didn't train go, leading up to it, it matters how you perform. So uh, I didn't perform well. Um, I can't, can't do anything about it now. You know, it's a tough thing. I haven't, I've, I haven't even watched the fight. I don't even want to see it. To me, it didn't even happen. I'm uh, moving forward and, you know, I'm on to bigger and better things. Last thing, when uh, you know, when it's all said and done, if you get the performance you're very happy with, Campo's great here. Are we gonna see more out in Las Vegas? Yeah, I think so. I found like a good blend of guys to work with here. Uh, obviously, the team at Extreme is great. Dewey's phenomenal on the mitts. Um, you know, Mike Atkinson is my strength coach, and he's got me doing some great stuff and keeping me healthy. You know, uh, it's a, a lot of my my team out here is train smarter. You know, train hard but train smart. And I think, you know, some of my methods back home, I was or working with different coaches and maybe not communicating as much. We, I was pushed, I was burning, burning the candle at both ends. And here we've kind of had like a, you know, kind of matching my performance or matching my workouts to my performances so that I'm always getting better every day. You know, I'm not having as much variability in my uh, performances or in my training sessions every day I'm getting better every day is programmed to work towards the next one and that having that I think is gonna is, is a gonna be a huge benefit and like I said man just the the lifestyle the people and the coaches the teammates there's a lot that Vegas has to offer and uh, you know I, I plan on doing my camps out here uh, as long as long as they'll have me well, wish you best of luck. You're on uh, UFC on FS1. Uh, what's the date for that? October 1st in Portland, Oregon. Okay, and uh, as far as social um, media, let's keep up with you. Um, my, all of my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, the handles are the Barn Cat MMA, and uh, we're the Fight Pass uh, featured fight. So if you guys uh, get your seven day free trial of Fight Pass uh, just before October 1st, you'll be able to uh, see me uh, perform and uh, we'll put on a good show. Thank you man, appreciate it.